So we just got out of the temple. It's really echoey in here because I'm kind of like in a little thing. But uh, we're here at Ichiran right now. Apparently they're like one of the best ramen places in Japan according to a lot of tourist websites. Well, that's what my friend Ben says. Um, you basically just, it's like the same as the last ramen place. You kind of just order on the uh, little machine. And then once you order it, you, get, you go to their table, give them your ticket, and then they'll bring it to you. So uh, I'll show you right now in a bit. So basically, like the vending machines, you kind of just put in your money and then however much money you have in there, you select which ramen you want. Because I was thinking like, I, I want to get this one because it's... Uh, so you got the sliced pork ramen, you got regular ramen, you got ramen with a half well salted egg. You got a bunch of stuff there. You got rice and sides. But um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go for the ramen and half boiled salted egg. I don't know what that means. One. That probably means like this is the number one place or something. I'm going to put my money in. I think it's uh, this one is 10,000 yen, which is roughly 10 dollars. Yeah. We're in Japan. So basically you fill out this little paper here. So this is a button. And if you've ever been to Shinsengumi in California, you kind of fill out uh, whatever you want. Your broth, the firmness or noodles, the richness of your, your soup, and just a bunch of add-ons and spiciness and stuff. Okay. They have self-serve water, which is pretty sick. There's Brad. Hello, Brad. How's your hair? Pretty good. Hey, Ben. Oh, yeah. Hand sanitizer. My dirty ass hands. Oh, yeah. Go to number one. It's like a lot of combos. It's Ichiran. Ichiran. Okay, recap. So basically, uh, we just went to the uh, what's called? Sensoji Temple. And uh, after that, we kind of walked around, got a little tired, uh, got some you know gifts for some friends back home, and uh, Rihanna was getting a little tired, so we decided to come here and get some Ichiran ramen. And we actually were going to get Ichiran ramen yesterday, but the line was like extremely long and it was ridiculously packed. So instead of, we got ramen at a different place, but I cannot wait to try this place. This place is regarded as like one of the best ramen places in Japan by, I don't know, everyone. Every, every, everyone. So I'm really excited to try it. And we are here and it is going to be coming in a few minutes. Premium pork. Wow, Ben got some premium pork. Look at that. We got the dried seaweed on top. Wow. That's in with some broth. Amazing. Wow. And I got an egg right here. I don't know what to do with that though. And we have. My ramen. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Does that look good or what? Okay, so uh, yesterday we had ramen, and uh, you guys, I got a soft boiled egg, and um, you guys didn't know if you crack it on the bottom, there's like an air pocket right here. You got like the round top, and then you got the bottom, it's kind of more oval and shape. And you crack the bottom, and then you can peel it with ease, you don't really damage much of the egg. It's kind of scared to damage the egg, because like it pops open, and all that nice, gooey yolk is gonna come out. I don't want that.
Huh. Alright, so I got a nice, this beautiful, clean egg. Like this. The one we got yesterday, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you know what? Let's do a little bit of mixing. You got a little bit of this, you know, that red mm -hmm. spicy you stuff on top. Put spice on the pork. Oh, I did. It's tender as fuck. Well. These noodles are I, nice and firm. The, the pork yesterday, I think, was yeah. dry. Yeah. Now look at the soup. Look at that soup. It's nice and rich. And this chassis looks like it's gonna like melt in your mouth. Yeah. That's what it is. Let's give it a go. Let's get a little bit of the, let's get a little bit of noodles here. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just pop the egg in half. How about that? Kind of edge it open. Wow. Look at that. That's awful. Can you get a close shot of this? Yeah. Okay. It's not oozing out, but it's like perfectly creamy on the inside. That is amazing. So let's put that in our soup. Get a little of that broth. Let's cut it back in half again. You know, get a little bit of that egg in there. So you got some noodles, you got some egg. Let's get a little bit of that yolk inside. It's a uh, low battery. Here we go. Tell me, tell me what you feel. What, how, how does it taste? Amazing. Holy shit. Really? Yeah. Brandon, do you think it's good? Wow. Des describe it, describe it. It's so rich and so rich flavor. The noodles are so nice and firm. This way I like it. It has a really nice body to it. Just the right amount of spice. Okay, okay. Now try my pork. Try my pork. Brad, try my pork. This, so this pork right there. My pork? You know what? Did that pork not blow your mind? I, I'm telling you. Wow. It's like you're eating pork belly. But the thing is, the pork belly is so soft usually. The pork belly has like that, that fat on top. It's usually like with the skin, it's kind of chewy. But I don't think they include the skin. And it kind of just melts in your mouth. It has a little bit of a weight, but it's, it's like the perfect kind of bite. The pork flavor itself is like. Perfect, spot on. Absolutely perfect. It's your run. It's the shit, dude. <laughs>